Whether you're looking to train your employees, partners, customers, students, sell your courses, or want to combine all of these, eFront has the functionality to help you do so. Today I'm going to show you around eFront and give you a basic understanding of how it can help you deliver your training. We'll begin with user types. There are three default user types in eFront and they control the type of experience you'll have. There are administrators, instructors, and learners. Administrators are responsible for the system's smooth operation. As an administrator, you'll have access to all courses, you can add and edit users, organize structure, hierarchy, and learning paths, and configure all system settings. As an instructor, you can manage the courses administrators have given you permission to, you can assign users to those courses, and you can grade assignments and instructor-led training sessions. Finally, we have learners. Learners enjoy an engaging learning experience by completing courses and tracking their progress all in one platform. Let's take a look at the learner experience more closely. The first thing a learner sees when asked to join your eFriend portal is, of course, your homepage. You can fully make it your own, use your brand colors and design, as well as add featured courses over here. From here, learners can either register on their own or log in using their credentials. Let's log in. Once in the portal, learners will see their dashboard along with the courses they have already enrolled in. Courses are organized under categories and subcategories. If a course is part of a curriculum, it will show up under the curriculum section. Tags on courses help learners to easily see the status of each course and check whether it has been completed, is still in progress, is restricted, is expired, is due to expire soon, or comes with a live session that is about to start. On the course catalog, learners can discover and acquire new courses made available by an instructor or administrator. If you're using eFront to sell courses, like this one, the price associated with the course shows up and the learner is prompted to purchase through the payment gateway you will have set up. Learners can also join groups. When they join a group, all of the group's courses are automatically assigned to that learner. To join a group, learners will need to use a key that is usually provided by the instructor or administrator. Now let's have a look at an actual course. For example, this is the course's summary page where learners will find a description and a list of the content that makes up the course. Let's start the course and you'll see that this unit contains text, images, and embedded links. You can create content just like this using eFront's built-in content editor. Next up, we'll see that this course has a video unit. This is a video uploaded from your files where you can also set completion rules. The rule here is the video can only be completed after a specific period of time. This means the learner will only be able to mark the unit as complete when the time you've set up is passed. Learners can complete units that were created from external resources too. For example, this is an entire website embedded into a unit. Next, we have a presentation and a test. Your learners can complete all questions on one page or one question at a time. It's up to you. Tests can be made up of fill the gap style questions, drag and drop, matrix, and multiple choice. After learners submit a test, they can see their score and their correct and incorrect answers. Next, let's have a look at an assignment type of unit. Learners can either fill in their answers directly here, upload a file, or record a video or audio. The last unit of this course is a survey. Here we've used multiple choice questions, matrix, and free text questions. When the learner has completed all units, they'll get a message that the course has been completed. If the course has a certificate, they can download it here too. If the administrator has enabled gamification, then learners also acquire points, badges, and levels while learning. Gamification creates fun competition among learners and can boost engagement and adoption. Here, learners can see their place on a leaderboard. Learners can also easily track their progress from their account. 
Their progress is displayed based on their certificates and skills, and they can find more details about their courses under Training History. Finally, learners can communicate with others on the platform in various ways. They can start or participate in discussions, which work like forums and are set up by admins or instructors to drive engagement between users. Learners can choose to send a private message to other learners or their instructors. Now let's turn our attention to the instructor user role and what they can do in eFront. Instructors are responsible for delivering training by creating courses or by editing existing ones. So how do you create a course in eFront? First, give your course a name, add a description, and upload an image. You can also set a deadline and add a certificate. A course is organized in lessons, like chapters, and within each lesson, you can have multiple units that you can create from scratch or clone from another course. The easiest way to upload your files is by dragging and dropping them in the content area. Instructors can also set up rules for a course. For example, how the average score will be calculated, the sequence units are displayed, and the completion rules. For example, if certain units must be completed or if a test must be passed. Once you're done, you can start assigning the course to users. With the multilingual feature, you can have different versions of specific content and items translated according to a user's profile language. Going back to the instructor dashboard, instructors have the option to contribute or create new discussions, add events to the calendar, and view alerts to help them score assignments. Finally, let's check the administrator user role and see what they can do in eFront. Administrators are responsible for the overall structure and management of the system. Let's look at a few ways they do that. White labeling. Customizing your portal to reflect your brand is a crucial step to keep the user experience consistent across your resources. There are many ways to make eFront yours. As an administrator, you can add your logo and favicon from system settings. Choose to map your own custom domain and remove all traces of us. You can change your site's homepage and color of any element in the portal by going into themes, and you can apply CSS or JavaScript codes to make even more changes. Through notifications, an admin can set up emails that go out automatically on certain triggers. For example, a welcome email when a user signs up or recommended further training when a learner completes a course. You can customize the message, the recipients, and translate them into different languages. We've got some already set up just to get you started. Now you are ready to bring your users in. Learners can be added either manually one by one or can be imported in mass using a CSV file. Learners can also be given the option to self-register or log in directly if a single sign-on configuration has been set up in user settings. Now let's look at how administrators can manage users in eFront. They have access to create groups, jobs, audiences, and branches, and these features help organize your users. Let's take a look at each one and what they help you do. Groups. Groups let you group a specific subset of users and offer them multiple courses. You can assign these courses using mass actions or by setting a group key that learners use to join the group on their own. Jobs. Jobs, on the other hand, help you divide your students according to their role in your organization. Unlike groups, when adding a user to a job, the user is automatically enrolled in all of the job's courses. Similarly, when adding a course to a job, it is automatically assigned to all of the job's users. Audiences. Audiences help you segment your users even further based on conditions you set. For example, you can create an audience and choose users that belong to specific branches, hold specific positions, user types, languages, or have specific custom fields attached to their profiles. Here we see a list of all the users that match the conditions you set. Once the audience is created, you can add courses that will be available through the course catalog. This way, you can create different versions of the course catalog for specific users. Alternatively, you can enroll users directly in these courses. Finally, you can display specific training sessions of a course to different audiences. But that's not all. Admins also have access to create branches. Branches allow you to create separate training portals under your main portal. 
These independent portals can be used to train different clients, users in different languages, separate departments, or however you need to set it up. Let's look at an organization chart. You can create branches and sub-branches as you need in order to reflect your exact structure. Let's add a new branch and give it a name. Now let's have a look at the additional settings. You can have different single sign-on settings per branch through LDAP or SAML. Now let's continue with the settings option to define the site name, motto, and theme. This is useful if you want each branch to have its own look. Moving on to the Courses tab, when you assign courses to the branch, you're forming the branch's course catalog. Users of the branch will be able to self-enroll in these courses. Next, you can add the users that belong to a branch. Just remember that a user can only belong to one branch. You can also add administrators to the branch by simply adding a user with an admin type to that branch. Let's log in as a branch admin. By logging in, you can see that a branch admin has a different dashboard and only has access to their courses, curricula, certificates, users, and so on. Their permissions and access can be tweaked further by the main admin. Now that we've seen the different ways eFriend gives you to organize your training portal and manage users, let's take a look at a few other features administrators can use to manage their portal. Skills. This feature helps you keep close track of your learner's development. You can use it to help your users progress based on their ability to master a skill or a set of skills. Skills are offered when specific courses are completed, which can also help you unlock other, more advanced courses. Skill gap testing. eFront also offers skill gap testing to help you identify where your employees might have weaknesses. To create a skill gap test, use questions from your courses and then select what happens to learners when they submit their answers. If learners pass the skill gap test, they are automatically allocated those skills. If not, you can leave the learner's account as is. Or, you can choose between two options. You can either show learners a list of suggested courses to help them develop the skills they are missing, or you can automatically assign them to those courses. Locations. They let you organize your training session either online or in a physical location, and they are perfect companions for blended courses. You can also connect video conferencing tools, such as Zoom, Microsoft Teams, GoToMeeting, and more. Certificates. When completing a course or curriculum, learners can earn and download certificates. Using XML, you can create custom certificates to reflect your branding. Courses. Admins can perform the same actions as instructors when it comes to course creation. Curriculum. They let you group courses in a bigger entity. Complex rules can be applied between curriculum courses. eFront also has the capability for you to sell your courses. E-commerce. E-commerce extensions include PayPal, Stripe, Foxy, Braintree, and you can handle complex e-commerce relationships through balances, discounts, and price tracks. Gradebook. The Gradebook feature gives administrators an overview of all units that need to be reviewed or graded. For instructors, it also gives them an easy way to view and add grades to learners' assignments. Reports. Now let's have a look at reports. We pride ourselves on having strong reporting capabilities that reveal a great amount of detail about user progress. All types of reports in the system can be easily exported in Excel or CSV format with the click of a button. You can also schedule them to be sent as an email to a custom recipient list at regular intervals. Digging further, you can view detailed reports on every user, specific courses, curricula, tests, surveys, SCORM units, and certificates. In user and course reports, you can also filter using specific criteria and perform mass actions to the results. Mass actions minimize the time to perform complex tasks. The best part is custom reports. These truly give you the flexibility to segment users in the system that comply with certain rules like these. And that's an overview of eFront. I'm sure you now have a better idea about what it's like to use the platform and the kind of flexibility and customizability it offers. You can learn more about specific features or pricing on our website at efrontlearning.com. If you have any questions, reach out to us by sending us a message through our contact page. Thanks for watching.